It is April 11, 2018. This is the Watchman News, and I'm Mike Callahan. Going to be doing something a little bit different, something that uh, I think this is a first. Uh, I might have I might have talked about some other books as as far as maybe a review, but I don't think so. I think this is my first book review, which says a lot in itself because I'm I'm not a real dedicated reader, okay? And and when I do read, there's a certain genre that I read, and and that's it. I don't really read anything else unless I'm learning stuff, unless I'm researching stuff. Uh, but as far as something just to kick back and a form of leisure, a uh, little bit of education uh, mixed in, uh, I don't do it real often. But uh, I, I picked up some books and um, one of the uh, channels that we watch on our channel um, had mentioned these books. So I thought, you know, I'll check them out. I'm glad I did. Uh, before I get real deep into this, because I'm sure there's people that are going to click on this video and they're going to be like, well, get to the point. Is it a good book? Um, so I'll save you if you don't want to watch all this video. I, I will save you the time and tell you, get the whole series. Don't hold back. It is uh, absolutely the most awesome books I have read. Now, I'm speaking about the Survivalist series by Angry American or A American. They are absolutely incredible. Now, I just finished the last one that he has written up to this point. I finished it this morning. It's titled Conflicted Home. And it's almost like it uh, was meant to be. And the reason why I say that is because uh, I just seen him post on his Facebook page and happened to reply and he replied back. And I'm going to show you that before I dive into the uh, books, the series, tell you a little bit about it. Um, again, if you don't want to stick around for the whole review, uh, pull the trigger on this book, so to speak. Definitely, or the series, I should say. Absolutely awesome. And, and I'm going to get uh, a little bit more in depth here in a moment on the reasons why I like it so much. So anyway, this is uh, this is the conversation that we had real quick on Facebook. I thought it was kind of humorous. Um, he had said, "What up, Ewans? I put a couple beehives, uh, put up a couple beehives today. Haven't had any for a few years now. Gives me another project for all my free time. You know, since I have so much." I know what the man's saying. <laughs> and I just said, hey there, just finished uh, Conflicted Home this morning, and oh my god, your series is the best. I'm literally firing up my software to make a video review, this is proof, <laughs> uh, of it now to post on my news channel. I'll link it when I'm done. Thank you so much for all your work. And he said, thanks, Mike. Glad you're enjoying them. And I can read the other one, uh, but you can read it as well. It's uh, it, It's kind of... If you haven't read the books, then then you wouldn't uh, get any meaning out of it. But uh, it was definitely it was definitely a, a tense moment uh, when I read through this particular chapter of the last book that he has written up to this point. Um, so what's the deal? Let me let me pull this up. Uh, this is the uh, series right here, all except for the last one. The last one is not listed here, and I'm going to put the links. Everything I show you, I'm going to put the links. I'm going to put his Facebook page link, all that, down in the description of this video. That way you guys can find his Facebook page. I think there's a Facebook group. Um, anything that I have as far as links, as far as Facebook is concerned, I will put in the description, as well as this Goodreads page I will put in the description because that's it. this is a little bit easier to follow as, as far as what ordering the books are in. And then uh, right now there's a total of nine of them out. And then uh, I will also link uh, to his Amazon page to where you can actually get a copy of those books. And uh, they have Kindle versions. Of course, they have paperback versions. I'm assuming they have a uh, hardcover because it shows up here. And uh, oh, one of them's got hardcover, I assume. And uh, they also have the Audible editions. So uh, whichever you choose. I, uh, I do Kindle myself. But anyway, let me, uh, let, let me dive into this a little bit here. So it starts out, uh, this man is away from home. And uh, I, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you how many miles, maybe a couple hundred miles. I believe he's up uh, near like the Elgin Air Force Base uh, area of Florida. 
and he's got to get way down to uh, Umatilla. And I can't remember if it's like 100 miles or 200 miles. Seems like it's like a couple hundred miles. And he's on foot because obviously uh, there's an EMP. I'm trying not to give away too much, and, and I, I promise not to give away too much. But i got to give you the kind of the basis of where things start off. Of course, the EMT, EMP event happens, and his car dies right there in the road, and he's on foot. So he's uh, the, the, the first book is his trek home. And let me tell you what. You will sit at the edge of your seat. The book is just absolutely phenomenal. Now, I read the one second series from William Fortune, which used to be my favorite books until I read this series. And I, I really like the one second after series. I really do. They're, they're really good, really in-depth books. But, but this brings a whole different level uh, not only to learning, but it brings a different level and just to the entertainment of the book. Um, along the way, like with most most books you would read, you, you run into several different people, get to know the different characters. And I'll tell you what, the characters in this book are absolutely incredible. They are just amazing. And the, the depth, the psychological depth that... Uh, angry american puts into this puts into the characters is just not comparable at all um i can honestly say that this book has had me uh tied up in knots uh i can honestly say i've had tears in my eyes uh and i've laughed like so hard in parts of this book uh there's a character named sarge and then there's ted and there's mike and uh and doc and and they're uh they're army guys and uh that they they come along in the book and the way these guys carry on with one another is just absolutely downright hilarious now the thing is is angry american seems to be able to put the right thing in the right place and it's just incredible i i can't explain it any more than saying it's incredible um, the ride, the journey that you go on, just sitting on your couch or in your computer chair or wherever you are and reading is amazing. I, uh, I tend to try to put myself in other people's shoes in life, in, in real life. That's how I've learned. I, I'm a pretty good, uh, I, I'm pretty good at psychology. I understand it really, really well. And one of the reasons why is because I've often throughout most of my life, Tried to put myself in other people's shoes to the best way possible. Why? Because I felt like if I could understand other people more, then maybe I could understand myself more. Because I'm a little bit, you know, I, I remind you of Shrek layers, right? <laughs> no, I mean, and and it's worked. It's largely worked. I, I have learned uh, understanding myself better. At the same time, I was able to learn understanding others better. Uh, which also gave me an advantage is to be able to help others. Well, here's the thing. His knowledge, his depth of being able to put into words on a piece of paper, uh, just all the different things at just the right times is absolutely impeccable. Like I said, and, and it's a feat. I had many times, many, many times I was in knots. You know, I, a couple of times I was in tears and, uh, and, and without a doubt, I couldn't tell you how many times I laughed. Uh, there's a lot of things that you can learn from the book. It's not just, uh, it's not just playtime. You, you can learn a lot from the book. Uh, in fact, I, <laughs> somebody mentioned in, uh, in the Facebook group when I was, uh, when I was talking to some people last night. In the Facebook group, I, I said I, I wasn't done yet. I'd say I'm about done. I don't know what I'm going to do until he gets done with the next one. And somebody said, reread it and take notes. And I kind of laughed, you know. But I tell you what, I may do that. I may actually do that. Because there are so many little things that, that Morgan, which is the main character, so many little things that he does in this that would be absolute lifesavers. Absolute lifesavers. 
uh, little things like different types of edible plants and um, just all kinds of just various uh, off the wall stuff that is incorporated into this book that could actually save your life. This is, um, I, I can't recommend it anymore. I'm, I'm not a huge, huge reader. And like I said, I'm, I'm very, uh, the books that I read are, are, are of one genre, so to speak. And it's, it's the SHTF scenario type of books, specifically EMP or grid down situation books. And, uh, and the reason why is because if you come to the show, you know um, that that is what I honestly feel is going to happen in this country. That is what I think are, is our biggest threat in this country. Um, and I also, I also recommend highly, uh, while I have your ear, to learn about wood gasification. Um, there's a playlist actually in my, uh, in my playlist and the guy has made more videos since, and I need to update that playlist to include those. But uh, the 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 channel name is Flash Zero Zero One USA, and he makes the best uh, gasifier that I've seen yet. The design of his gasifier is kind of like a hybrid kind of design, and it is absolutely incredible. And and since uh, since I first put that playlist up he's he's automated a, a shaker system on the grate and everything else anyway i'm not going to go into gasifiers that much check it out because i'll tell you what that will save a ton of lives if people understand gasifiers how they work and most importantly uh either how to put one together or put one together now that is going to save a lot of lives believe me when you have a way to power when you have a way to fuel a combustion engine when there is no gasoline available that's gonna that's gonna be a game changer uh, you're gonna see a lot of things or read a lot of things in this book a lot of uh, a lot of trials so to speak and I'll tell you what some of the ways that that they had overcome some of the things uh, was pretty impressive pretty ingenious and like I said, there's a lot to learn. Folks, I've been studying survival type of stuff um, for over 10 years now. And I have been uh, doing, you know, working, fabricating, uh, repairing all of my life. I I'll be 46 this summer. And uh, as long as I can remember, I've been working on stuff. I remember at eight years old working on bicycles and lawnmowers. My dad had a, a out of the garage, he had a little uh, bicycle shop and lawnmower repair shop. So at a young age, I learned how to repair stuff. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a weekend thing. He had a regular, you know, nine to five, so to speak, job. Um, however, he did this for mad money. And uh, and so I learned how to work on things. And since then, I've I've learned, you know, I've gotten experience and, and learned in electronics, electrical, obviously computers, you guys should well know uh, lots of things. And so when I read books like this and I see some of the ingenuity and some of the things that they come up with, it's like, yeah, that's awesome. That is absolutely awesome. So, you know, uh, I, I keep telling you guys there's there's. There's things that you have to be ready for when it comes to preparation. And and I have an order that I'm always telling people on the show and, and different ways that you need to prepare, be prepared and the priority of those ways. Let me run through those real quick. I know this is a book review, but this is important. This is highly important. Number one, you need to be spiritually prepared. And I don't care whether you worship uh Father Yahweh, or you worship your toaster, uh, if you refer to him as God, I don't care who it is, the flying spaghetti monster, it doesn't matter, it really, and I'm just being real with you, now, I, I choose to worship God or Father Yahweh, um, however, again, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, you know, it really don't, again, you can worship your toaster, okay, but you need to have something higher than you, something bigger to you, or than you, that you can that you can reach out to when times get rough okay to me that is important number two number two and and the the biggest is at the top here number two is mentally prepared because it doesn't matter what toys you have it doesn't matter what skills you have what knowledge you have none of that matters if you lose your mind if you absolutely lose your mind 
and, and, and can't focus and can't concentrate, guess what? You're done. That's the end of it, right? And and priority number one is there to back up in case you lose your mind because you're going to get stressed out. It's going to happen, right? So being spiritually prepared is there as a backup for being mentally prepared. Number three, knowledgeably prepared, right? Wow, you don't mean physically prepared? No, knowledgeably prepared. Why? Because guess what? You can buy all the stuff in the world. Things are going to break. You're going to lose things. You may have to bug out and not be able to take much of anything but your bug out bag with you. Then what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you lose all those things that you bought to be able to live in an SHTF situation comfortably or at least relatively? Okay. So again, number three, knowledgeably prepared. Number four, now we get to physically prepare. After you've done all these others and you're all ready to go on the first three, then you can focus on being physically prepared. Okay? So I'll run through the list. Number one, spiritually prepared. Number two, mentally prepared. Number three, knowledgeably prepared. And number four, physically prepared. Now that's important and I'm sorry for those that I bored to death running through that. But it's an important priority list to have. I take this stuff serious, folks. I take this stuff very, very serious. And and reading these books, okay, reading these books is exactly what I would expect in a real world scenario with this. It really is. It really is. He has done his homework on so many different levels. It's unreal. I cannot recommend this book enough, or I should say the series, every last one of them. Uh, Going Home is the first one. Going Home, then Surviving Home, Escaping Home, Forsaking Home, Resurrecting Home, Enforcing Home, Avenging Home, Home Invasion, and then Conflicted Home, which is not on this list here for whatever reason. However, they are all here. So, And you can get them all in Kindle. You can get them in paperback. And uh, I don't know if they're all in Audible books or not. I I read the Kindle editions on all of them. So anyway, seriously, seriously, mad respect for Angry American. I, I, can't, uh, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed reading this series. And I can't tell you how much I, I, I am just waiting for the next one to come out. Uh, the only bad thing is, is I've read all of these in a relatively short amount of time because I, you know, I don't have a lot of time either. That's when when he was saying that about, you know, finding the extra, or having the extra time. It's like I know, you know, just being able to read his books, I had to. I, I'll tell you what, I even, I even felt like I was even getting stingy with my time uh, here and there because it's like I really want to get some reading done, right? So, uh, but I did it. I, I got all nine books read. And uh, can't wait for the 10th book. And these are books that you just won't want to sit down. Absolutely incredible books. Um, any downsides? There's only one thing I can think of. Only one thing. And it's such a minor stupid thing, it's unreal. But if I don't call out, you know, what what my opinion. This is my opinion. This is just my opinion. The chapters are kind of long on the books. So... Uh, read time. Kindle tells me that a lot of the chapters are roughly like an hour long to read through it. Most people that probably wouldn't phase. Uh, when you're somebody that's kind of hit and miss on your time, it's a little easier to manage with shorter chapters. Um, but it's not a complaint. <laughs> it's not a complaint because guess what? I back out of that book on Kindle. When I get back to it, I open it up. It goes right back to that spot. So it's not an issue at all. Anyway. Absolutely excellent series. I will put all the links that I had showed you down in the description of the video. Without a doubt, get this book series. Show this man some love. I'll put his Facebook group, his Facebook page in the description of this video as well. I want to thank you for watching. And as always, God bless you. We love you and be one with your spirit. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.